you like watching birds, feeding birds, and seeing what type of birds come in your area, this product may be right for you. So grab yourself some bird seeds, grab yourself an AI uh, detector, and you get to see a whole bunch of different birds. So let's open this up, show you what you get inside the box. Smart AI recognition bird feeder instruction manual. And these are just all the parts and pieces that you get. You get the roof that has a solar panel on both sides, the actual bird feeder that you put the bird feeder, the camera that you're going to peel the sticker off, make sure it comes off, and your cable that's going to plug in. You have the bird feeder uh, feet over here that the birds will sit on and eat their feed. A strap, a cable, some hardware anchors and bolts, and your mount and bracket, L bracket, and also including a SDXC card and the drilling template. And we're going to go hook this up outside and show you how this thing works. Find a spot, nail it down. Where the bird stands, simply just place on to the main feeder, the base, turn upside down like so, and place in the two screws and tighten them up. If I need to work on the camera, I could flip it all the way around. I could take it off its area by the thumb bolt. If I need to clean the base out, I could do the same by taking this thumb bolt out, grab the base, and just gently pull up. This is a rubber door. It comes off. If you need to put the other door on, you simply look for the little tab, place it over the hole, and then you can slide the other door on. With your supply card, fit it into the camera the correct way. You can place your door back on after you turn the unit on, and there is a reset button over here as well. If you need to reset the camera, you simply press down on the key. As we open up the app, we're going to continue. It would like to send me notifications. We'd like to go to Bluetooth. But before I do that, let me make sure the unit is in the on state by hitting the button. It's a slide on and slide off. We're going to hit OK. Connect to my local network. Please make sure it's 2.4 gigahertz only. We'll choose one of the bird feeders that shows all the seeds. I'm all set up. I'm going to now hook my camera back on and we're going to go outside and install the unit. Make sure you get the cover on correctly. It keeps the unit weather resistant. Plug in the cable to the top, slide it in the two holes, lock it down, and place on the base. Take the cover and the remaining screws and go hook it up. Place on, place on the mechanism. The little hole is over here and the square is over here. Place the screw and tighten down. Grab your favorite seeds. Do the best to go in the back if you can't get back there. Remember, the unit turns to the side. Then you're able to open up. Pour your seeds in. Fill it up. And close down. And adjust. Adjust the camera so when the bird comes, you're able to see. The unit's getting charged by sunlight, both sides, as you can see. We'll come back later and see what type of birds come to the birdhouse and we'll identify them through the app. We have songbirds, finches, blue jays, mockingbirds, and cardinals in the area. Right now it's uh, pretty quiet and we caught a songbird landing on the bird feeder. 
and you're able to use the app and identify it through the encyclopedia that they uh, show through. The uh, bird feeder does a great job, holds a lot of bird feet, and I hope you enjoy your bird feet wherever you put it. Make sure it's not in the high traffic area, somewhere in the garden, in the front, the back, wherever you want a bird feeder. Enjoy your bird feeder.